Today, we're gonna show you how to get the perfect color and light in your photos, as well as how to automatically denoise using AI. So we're first starting with a landscape photo. Now, I intentionally underexposed this image so I could get all this beautiful information in the sky. First thing we wanna do is bring our foreground back to our proper exposure. So we're gonna move into our editing sliders and I always recommend starting here with auto. Let's go ahead and click that and see how it looks. All right, already it looks really good. Now we're gonna move into our light slider and you can see when I hit auto, basically it just adjusted these sliders for me. This is a great starting place, but I wanna edit this a little bit to make it my own. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna reduce the exposure just a little bit. There we go, that's looking Good, and then we're gonna take our shadow levels and I'm gonna bring those up a little bit brighter. All right, I think this is looking great. Now, I like my images with a little bit more contrast, so let's go ahead and bring that contrast up just a little bit, and then I wanna start working with our color. So with color, I remember this being a little bit more vibrant, and I wanna target specific colors in this image and bring them to their maximum potential. So we're gonna go here to our color window and let's go ahead and open this up and my favorite thing to do with color we're going to start with making the temperature just a little bit warmer my favorite thing to do is actually right here in the color mixer okay now what i like to do is i like to go right over here to the targeted adjustment tool let's go ahead and click on that now with our targeted adjustment tool you have three different options here you have hue saturation and luminance the coolest thing is all i have to do is click right over top of the color i want to adjust and i click here and I can drag to the right or the left. And in this case, it's affecting saturation because that's what's highlighted right here. So if I want this to be more saturated, I can click and drag to make it more saturated. There we go. If I wanna change the hue, I simply click on the hue and click on this color and I can start to work on the hue, bring it a little more towards orange or a little bit more towards cyan. All right, I think right about there looks fantastic. And you can even work on the luminance. If you want this color to be a little bit brighter, you can do that, darker, you can do that as well. I think a little bit brighter looks fantastic. Okay, now every color that you click on, you can work and change the hue, saturation, and luminance. Let's do the same thing with the colors here in the foreground. So we'll start off with saturation. I love these flowers here in the foreground. Let's click and just make them a little bit more saturated. Oh, this is looking really good. And I wanna go to our luminance and I wanna bring these and make them a little bit brighter as well. So you can see now we have some beautiful foreground focus here going into a colorful background and then back into the sky. I think this is looking fantastic. Now, one thing I wanna do is target the sky specifically and add just a little bit more contrast to make it look a little bit more moody. So we're gonna move right over here to our masking tools over here on the right-hand side, and I'm gonna to go to create a new mask and we're gonna click on sky. Now with this sky mask, all of these changes that I make, anything that I do with my light and color, it's only gonna affect the sky. Let's go ahead and increase the contrast just a little bit. You can see lower or higher contrast. We can really make a difference in the sky. So let's increase that just a little bit. And you can even go into your color temperature and maybe I can make this just a little bit more blue. All right, and that is looking fantastic. Overall, I'm really happy with this photo. Let's click on that slash key to see there's our before and the after. All right, this is looking really good. Now, keep in mind, if you wanna make changes at any time, for instance, if you go back into your color mixer and you decided maybe I've made these a little bit too saturated here in my oranges, you can just go in here and lower the saturation down just a little bit and get a more balanced photo. So you can do that at any time. All these changes are non-destructive. Now for our next image, we're gonna be editing a portrait. So let's go ahead and click here. Now, again, I intentionally lowered the exposure on this portrait so I could get a lot of information here in the sky, which I think is beautiful. Now we're gonna start off again in the exact same manner that we did our first image here. Let's close everything down and we're gonna go right up here to edit and click on auto. Fantastic. Now auto looks pretty good, but we can enhance this just a little bit more because as you can see, I don't have a lot of detail with our subject. So let's go to light and we're just gonna take our shadow level and bring that even brighter. There we go, that's looking really, really good. Let's take our exposure up just a little bit. You can see we still have all that detail in the sky. I'm gonna to go to my color and just make our color temperature a little bit warmer. Okay, now this is looking great. I do wanna add a little bit of a light flare to kind of make it look like we have a glow from our sunset of light. So again, we're gonna go into our masking dialog here. Let's go ahead and click on our radial gradient. I'm gonna click and drag from our light source out just like this. Fantastic, we can go ahead and adjust the size of our radial gradient at any time. And then we're gonna take our exposure up just a little bit there we go, let's take our shadows up just a little bit and our color temperature. 
Now this is looking fantastic. Let's click on the slash key to see there's a before and the after. But I do want to point out one thing, and that is if I zoom in, we can see we have a bit of noise because this area was in shadow, but we made it a little bit brighter and that's revealing some of the color noise. Well, we're going to be using AI to denoise this completely. So all we have to do is let's go back into our sliders here. Let's go ahead and close everything down. We're going to go into our detail window and right here you're going to see noise reduction. We're going to go ahead and click on denoise. Now this is a raw photograph, so we have a little preview here and you can see just how good this does. There's the before and there's the after. Look at that, incredible. So because this is a raw photo, we can use AI to denoise this. Let's click on enhance and you can see right up here, it's generating a enhanced DNG, completely denoise. And it's gonna stack this with my original image. And here we go. I simply click here and look at this. Zooming in, we have a completely denoised photo with all of the detail of the original one. Let's go ahead and click on the stack so we can see here's the original, all of this color noise, there we go. And here's the after using AI to completely denoise this photo and we have an absolutely stunning result. So here is our before, this is what we started with, okay? And then here's the after with the image completely denoised. It's amazing what you can do with Lightroom. So the next time you go out and take some pictures, even if something's not perfectly exposed, you can completely fix it and bring it to life using Lightroom. And if you have a little bit of noise in your photo, you can completely remove it using denoise and AI.